Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, a resistor and a capacitor are connected in series to an AC surface of V equals to Vm sin omega t. Derive an expression for the impedance of the circuit. So the problem is based on the topic uh, alternating current. And in this particular problem, we have to derive an expression for the impedance of RC circuit, series RC circuit. Now, the circuit consists of a resistor in series with the capacitor energized by an AC source. So, this is the situation. This is the value of resistance R and this is the value of capacitance C. The applied signal is given as V equals to Vm sin omega t. Now, this problem can be solved by the concepts of phasor. So, according to phasor concepts, Suppose this is the phasor corresponding to the resistor, this is the phasor corresponding to the capacitor and the resultant is the phasor corresponding to the applied voltage. Now the difference, the angle difference between Vr and Vc is 90 degree and uh, we can say that now from this particular phasor diagram we can say that V equals to Vr plus Vc. Or we can say that Vm square is equal to Vrm square plus Vcm square. Now we know that uh, for the resistor this is Im R and its whole square. The voltage across the resistor according to the Ohm's law is given by the current passing through it into the value of the resistance. Now the current is same throughout this particular loop because this is a series circuit because R and C are connected in series. Now for the capacitor, the voltage across capacitor Vcm square. So we can write it down as this value is Im, Im into X of C where X of C is the capacitive reactance and its square. So we can say that Vm square is equal to this expression. Now Im square is common and inside the bracket we get r square plus x of z square. Now this is the value of Vm square. Now from this particular equation we can write it down as Vm upon Im whole square is equal to r square plus x of z square. Now V upon I is nothing but the Vm upon Im is nothing but the impedance. So it implies that the impedance square is equal to r square plus x of c square or in other another words we can say that the impedance is square root of r square plus x of c square so this is the final expression which we have to derive so hope you understand the solution thank you